Hello Chloe. How are you? I guess you're back. All right. What? Really? Wow. That's nice. So you still remember? You know what? I wanted to get dressed. I have few dollars with me. I'll run from the office now. When I get home, we'll go out. You're welcome. I love you too, baby girl. Good afternoon. So you look so excited. As you can see. The boss sends for you and he said you should come with the documents you're working on. Oh, okay. Um, I'll be there right away. Okay. Thank you. So much that you like the place like it dad like it is an understatement i love it just trust me you deserve the best thank you so much dad you're welcome good day ladies i can see this thing for that beautiful girl over last week uh i would like sorry please can i have a word or two with you over there okay, sorry. Uh, no problem so, Chloe, we'll be right back. Okay, Dad, take your time. All right. <laughs> Madam, I'm in a very big mess right now. I didn't understand, sir. Okay. The thing is, a few weeks ago, I promised my daughter if she get qualified for the international scholarship, I will take her out. And she did qualify. But the problem there is, I have only $20 with me. And I, I, I will try my best not to exceed that extent. Because I, I need you to help me. No, sir. He invites more. We have our policy. I suggest you just leave, since you don't have enough to spend. I understand. That's the reason I'm pleading. I, I could go on my news. No, don't do that, sir. You are a customer. I'm doing this to be very awkward. I could lose my job, sir. But I, I have no other option. I'll try and talk to the manager. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. But that doesn't clarify, yes. I understand. Thank you so much. I'll head back to my table now. Dad, hope there's no problem. Oh, there's no problem. Okay, Dad. Dad, why is it that food here? Oh, don't worry. The food's on their way. Okay, Dad. Good afternoon, sir. Afternoon, Rita. You are supposed to be attending to the customers. So I have something to tell you. Okay, go ahead. There's a man seated over there with his cute daughter. He promised to take her out if she excelled in her scholarship. And she did. But unfortunately, he doesn't have much with him right now. So please, can you give him free food? Are you stupid? Mr. Tom, is something wrong with you? Listen, Rita, this is not a charity organization. If he needs free food, he should go to the street and beg. Sir, please. Sir, please. Rita, let this be the last time you come to me to discuss something like this. If you want to keep your job, leave here now. Rubbish. Okay, sir. Can, can the money just be on my paycheck for the next two months? See how foolish you are. Okay, it will be on your paycheck but for the next four months. Sir, so, 
How do you expect me to survive? Rita, leave here now. Thank you. Okay, I'll be right back. Enjoy your meal. Sir, I just want to know that all the bills are on my paycheck for the next four months. Wow, that's too much. How would you survive? It's nothing. As long as you let us have a good time together. I, I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much. It's not fair. Just go and have a good time with your daughter. I'm grateful. Uh, sorry, what's your name? Rita. Uh, Rita. Thank you so much, Miss Rita. You're welcome, sir. Chloe, this is Miss Rita. I would like you to tell her a very big thank you. Okay, Dad, but for what? Don't worry, Chloe. Just tell her thank you. Thank you, Miss Rita. You're welcome, darling. Congratulations once again. Thank you. So, Chloe, eat. Okay, Dad. Good afternoon, ma. You sent for me. Yes, I did. Please have your seat. Thank you. You applied for the position of a customer care representative, right? Yes, ma'am. With what I'm seeing here, you're very much qualified for this position. <laughs> Thank you. But I'm sorry, you can't be given this position. But ma, ma. Hold it. You're the lady from Bite More Restaurant, right? Yes. I stopped working there years back. I can't remember your face, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So tell me, why did you stop working there? <sighs> well. It's really a long story. As a waitress, I came in contact with this man that wanted to celebrate his daughter's scholarship by having a dinner with her at the restaurant. You know, he actually promised his daughter a dinner if she was able to extend in her examination. And he needed to fulfill that promise. Oh, he had no money. <laughs> and he pleaded with me. <laughs> I had to risk my paycheck <laughs> for the next four months because of that. <laughs> I couldn't survive. Because of that, I just had to quit the job. And since then, I've been searching for jobs. <sighs> well, I'm not supposed to be crying. You know, I'm somehow happy that at least I was able to help a father you know, and I was also able to put a smile on his daughter's face. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for this. Please, ma. Please. 
I don't want to lose this job. I don't want to lose it, please. I'm tired of searching. I don't have anywhere else to go. I don't want to search anymore. Please. Well, I'm not just depriving you from being the customer care representative, but rather I'm making you the general manager of this branch. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's okay. Calm down. I am Chloe, the daughter of the man you risked your paycheck for. Wow. Really? You're that little girl? <laughs> Thank you. You know, my dad told me the story of how you risked your paycheck for a stranger you barely know. I mean, it can only be a good man who could do that. And he told me never to forget the faith. The image keeps coming back to me. And I'm so happy this day is here. I finally get to see you again. And I will be a bad person not to return the good you did for me. So it's okay. Please stop crying. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so praying. Thank you. <laughs> God bless you. You're welcome. <laughs> Hello guys, thanks for watching that amazing video. I am sure you enjoyed it. But please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe and also turn on your post notifications for more videos. We love you guys. Thanks for the love. Thanks for your comments. Bye.